Hi everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo, and today we're gonna to take a look at the new Bugaboo Buffalo. Now this is kind of a cross between the Bugaboo Chameleon and the Bugaboo Donkey. Now you got the ruggedness of the donkey and the, you know, the great use for city with the chameleon, and this is kind of the best of both worlds. So this is the Bugaboo Buffalo. This is a pretty rugged stroller for Bugaboo, so we've brought it outside to show it to you. Now let's take a look at the seat. The seat has a 50 pound weight capacity. That is a much higher weight capacity than we're used to with Bugaboo, so it's great for your growing child. Now the seat, it's 13 inches wide. It has a 19 inch seat back and a measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy of 22 inches. It also has a, a set leg drop, so it doesn't have an adjustable leg rest, but it is a 10 inch leg drop drop from where the seat breaks to where they place their feet. There is a secure five-point harness in the seat and there is a swing away and removable baby bumper bar. The seat has many recline positions and I love the fact that it's a one-handed lever recline. All I have to do is lift up that white lever and it goes all the way back to there. Now, with the Bugaboo Buffalo, you're gonna use it with a newborn with the carry cot, which comes with it, which I will show you in a second. And then about six months, you will trans, you will go to the toddler seat. Now, here's a fun thing about Bugaboo. Anything that is white on a Bugaboo stroller has a function. So as you see, the lever on the recline is white, so I know that is the recline. Now, the seat is also reversible, so your child can look at you or out at the world, and a lot of parents like this feature. Now, it's truly one-handed because all you have to do is push these white buttons, and they have memory. So push them one at a time, swing it around, pop it in and the seat reverses. And it does have the recline for the full recline both ways, whether facing parent or out. So let's talk about the canopy. This canopy is new for Bugaboo because it's an extendable canopy. And first of all, really big like that, right? But on the side, there is a zipper that makes it even bigger. Now this canopy goes even past the baby bumper bar. This is a full coverage canopy. It's kind of like a paparazzi shield because you couldn't really see the baby inside. So if you don't need a lot, you just zip it up to have that clean look. But if you do want to extend it, there is that third panel. It does not have a peekaboo window. That is very normal for Bugaboo and a lot of luxury strollers because fancy people just look at their baby, I guess. Um, so no peekaboo window. Now the Buffalo has an extendable handle and this is great for taller and shorter parents. These white buttons right here, again, white for a function. You open those up, it goes all the way down to 35 inches from ground to where I place my hands. And then it goes all the way up here to 44 inches. This is a very tall handle, really great for taller parents. You have a long stride, you are not gonna kick the back of this frame. Now this loop right here, this is what I call a runaway strap. It loops on your wrists like that. In case the stroller were to get away from you on a hill, it's still attached, so your baby's not gonna go rolling anywhere. There's one more great feature about the handle and these two pieces right here. It has been tested to hold up to 13 pounds on the handle with a diaper bag. That's right. They have constructed this stroller so well that you can actually, and on purpose, hang a diaper bag. It's going to loop right onto these pieces and you're never going to tip the stroller up to 13 pound diaper bag. The basket on the Buffalo is huge. This is bigger than the Chameleon. They have given you plenty of real estate in that basket for all kinds of baby stuff. Plus in the front here, there is a pouch that you can put things in so it doesn't roll around in the basket and it doesn't fall out. So it has very good access. I can get to it from here if the seat is reversed. Even if the seat is fully reclined, I can still get to the basket from both sides. So a really, really good basket on the Buffalo. So let's talk about these wheels because this is kind of what makes the Buffalo. These are no flat, heavy duty wheels. They are 10 inches in the front, 12 inches in the rear. They are all terrain tires. These are gonna get you over grass and gravel and playground mulch, all kinds of things. If you have cobblestone streets by your house, this is gonna be perfect for that. These white levers in front, these lock the front wheels straight. If you wanna take it on a bit more terrain, you would lock those wheels straight and that's going to give the stroller some more stability. If you want to just, you know, cruise around the city, you unlock them and that's going to give you superb maneuverability. Let me tell you, Bugaboos, they are so easy to push. I could push it with one hand, turn it with one hand. It's truly a one-handed stroller, even with a fully loaded seat. Another great feature of the Buffalo is you can put it in two-wheel mode so it tackles sand and snow really well, better than other strollers. Now, all you have to do is pull up your fold locks, push the wheels in, and it allows those front smaller wheels to lift off the ground. So you're gonna pull the stroller through the sand or through the, um, the snow. And I'm telling you, with those 12 inch wheels, it works really, really well. 
The stroller also has a parking brake. It's a one-step brake right here. It's the white lever. You step down on it. That locks the Buffalo into place. You lift up and it lets it go free. Folding the Buffalo is very easy to do and you're going to be super excited that you can fold it with the seat attached all in one piece, whether the seat is facing forward or facing in. You could even fold it with the carry cot attached. There are two white levers here. You pull them up. The Buffalo has a standing fold, but be careful because when you fold it, it may set on your handlebar. So if you are in gravel and mud like I am, it's going to get your handlebar a little dirty. So unfolding it, very easy to do. You're just going to lift up on the seat until it locks open. That's how easy it is. You put your seat and your handlebar where you'd like and you are ready to roll. The Buffalo weighs in at just over 27 pounds. It has a lot of stability and that's why you can hang a large diaper bag on the handle. It is a very well built stroller. Great maneuverability. So let's show you the carry cot for the newborn option. The Buffalo comes with a newborn ready carry cot to turn it into a pram. This is like a rolling bed for your baby. You're going to use the carry cot option when you're ba with your newborn up to about four or five months old. When your baby can set start to set up on their own, then you're going to transfer them to the toddler seat. Now I just want you to know that the carry cot, it comes with the fabric. It uses the same frame as the toddler seat. So you are going to need to transfer the frame when you're using the carry cot or the toddler seat. It also uses the same canopy. So it has the same extendable canopy if you wanted to make it even larger. And a great little feature about the carry cot and the toddler seat, which we didn't show you, but I'll just tell you is that you can remove it from the frame and use it as a freestanding bassinet in your home. You could also do that with the toddler seat on the frame. You can have it set as a seat on the ground. So here's what comes with the Bugaboo Buffalo when you buy it. It comes with the toddler seat fabric, the carry cot fabric, and the frame that goes with both. It comes with a baby bumper bar, the extendable canopy, the large basket, and of course the frame and the wheels. Now this is a luxury stroller with a luxury price. It is an investment, but it is a fabulous stro stroller. It has a smart design, innovative features, a super smooth ride. And you know what? I just overall think it's a fabulous stroller. This is a one-handed push stroller, like no doubt in my mind. So that is my look at the Bugaboo Buffalo. Leave us a comment. What did you, th what was your favorite feature of the Buffalo? What did you think was most innovative? And that's it for me. I will talk to you later. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo. Bye.